problem with turning a historic document into a uh, machine readable text is that it is so very old. Everything is different from a modern document. It has old fonts, old words, and a very difficult layout. Every year millions of books are scanned and placed online. But once scanned, they're left full of errors because computers struggle to read old texts with strange layouts, fonts and spellings. This is the Principia Mathematica by Isaac Newton. You see actually what we call shine through, so that is ink from the opposite page, which is just shining through the paper. You see that the paper is warped. And you can also see here there is um, this long S also in use, so, um, which can very easily be confused with an F. Researchers here at the National Library of the Netherlands have spent four years in a European project to improve software tools to read old books. We improved software for image enhancement, optical character recognition, post-correction, of the document and language technology to make it more accessible. That know-how has already been integrated into the market-leading digitization software and the results are much improved. Here we have an example of the image being straightened. And the next thing is that these borders, which are here also need to be cropped. The next step is actually to transform that into a black and white image, so in order to enhance the contrast uh, background and foreground. At the very end of the process, the user gets the recognized full text, and there is also the structural features of these uh, texts, for example, uh, paragraphs and uh, headlines and the like are um, also detected. The project claims at least a 15% improvement in the accuracy of scanned text. It means precious archives should be much more available. Text that is not fully digital is virtually invisible. Everyone is used to going into a search engine and look for a word. And if they don't find this, it basically isn't there for them. Jumping my machine.